The Johnsons are nearing the end of the first five-year term of their mortgage of $550,000. Their mortgage currently has a 25-year amortization period with an interest rate of 4.25% compounded semi-annually. If the interest rate changes to 4.1% on their renewal, let's try to determine how much their monthly payments are going to decrease by. In step one, let's try to determine what the initial payment size was. And throughout the question, let's assume that we are making month end payments. Since their initial mortgage was a 25 year term with monthly payments, that implies that N should be equal to 300. Our initial interest rate was 4.25% compounded semi-annually, and we were making monthly payments. The initial mortgage amount was $550,000, and over the span of the 25 years, we do expect to pay this off. So let's take FV to be zero. Let's pop up the calculator and start programming in some of these values that we need. So here are the interest of 4.25. We'll sneak into that sub menu. PY is 12 already. CY is two, so that looks good. I'm gonna quit. Program in our 550 thousand for the PV, zero for our future value, and then go ahead and compute the equal sized payments. And we should get $2,968.13 as that initial payment size. Next, what we want to do in step two is try to figure out the balance that's going to be remaining on the mortgage after this first five year term. So we're going to decrease N down to 60 because here five times 12 is 60. So we've made 60 of these equal sized payments. We are also going to have to program in the payment size. We're going to do that as a negative 296813. All of our other parameters should be able to stay the same. So let's go ahead and pull up the calculator. We're going to update N to be 60 and then we'll input our 296813 as a negative number for our payment size. Let's go ahead and compute the future value. Doing this should give us a future value on the mortgage of $480,860 even. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into step three, the renegotiation phase for the mortgage. Let's take the current updated balance of 48860 as the present value during the re renegotiation period. So we're gonna input this as a positive value here. And let's try to determine the other parameters we need for our question. We're gonna keep on with monthly payments and our new interest rate is now 4.1% compounded semi-annually instead. Again, during this renegotiation phase, we will assume that we're going to pay off this particular loan. So FV is going to be zero. And then finally, we have a 20 year amortization period. So we're going to take 20 times 12. So that means we're going to have 240 equal sized payments left. So let's go ahead and start programming in some of the values we need here with 240 in for N. We need to update our interest rate to 4.1. I'm just gonna slide into the sub menu, make sure that everything looks good in there, and it does. We have an updated present value of 48860. I'm gonna zero out the payments here. We're actually gonna ask the calculator to compute the payments in a second. Let's go ahead and program in zero for the FV, and then we should be able to compute our new payment size. And this means after the renegotiation phase, we have a new payment size of $2,930.52. So the difference between our equal sized payments should be about $37.61.